All right, you want scary stuff? But funny. This is scary and funny. I've got to play you this clip. Let's see if I can make this happen uh, so that you can see it. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to play you this clip. I apologize for how absurd and crazy it is. But for those of you who believe that religion is benign, for those of you who believe that religion doesn't kill, for those of you who believe that it's only Muslims that are bad guys, I want you to watch this televangelist. This nutty, crazy, insane televangelist talking about the flu epidemic. This is a blast. More scary stuff, but it's kind of funny. Well, listen, partners. We don't have a flu season. We've got a duck season, a deer season. But we don't have a flu season. <laughs> no flu and season. don't receive it when somebody threatens you with everybody's getting the flu. No, only people we don't believe in Jesus get the flu. Shot. He bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. That's what we stand on. And by his stripes... We Notice that, what she just said. She said, Jesus bore sicknesses. He, he's, already, he's already suffered the flu for us. So if you're a real believer, if you really believe in Jesus, then you're not going to get the flu because he already had the flu. He already, he, he already gave us, he inoculated us. He gave us a flu shot by believing in him. We're inoculated from the flu. That's, that's what she's suggesting. Now note that this has life or death implications for people. And, and notice what she does with regard to people who already have the flu. We were healed. If you've already got the flu, if you already flu, got the I'm flu, I pray for you right now, Father. I pray for every person. Oh, thank God, she's playing, praying. I'm asking you, Lord, by your supernatural power, to heal them now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Flu, I bind you off of the people in the name she's of Jesus. She's talking to the Jesus flu. Jesus Himself gave us the flu shot. He redeemed us from the curse of flu. Did you hear that? Jesus himself gave us the flu shot. He redeemed us from the curse of the flu. <laughs> I hope we you're laughing. Receive it and we take it and we are healed by his stripes. You're healed by Amen. Jesus. You know, the Bible says he himself bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. And by his stripes, we were healed. When we were healed, we are healed. So get on the word, stay on the word. And if, if you say, well, I don't have any symptoms of the flu. Well, great. That's the way it's supposed to be. Notice this primacy of consciousness now. that I'll never have the flu. I'll never have the flu. Put words. Inoculate yourself with the word of God. He himself bore my sicknesses, carried my diseases. And by his stripes, I was healed. I am healed. And Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I apologize for that. I had to play it because it's so ludicrous. Now, that video has like 150,000 views on just that one Facebook page. Who knows what it's like on YouTube? But that is insane, people. That's insanity. But notice, even if she's right, think about a system of ideas to believe that some man a son of God, whatever the hell that means, bore all your sicknesses. He suffered for you. You'll never be sick because he got a... What a horrible point of view. What a horrible religion. Why would somebody suffer for me? Why would somebody else be crucified and suffer all my diseases for no fault of his own? It's a good, good, good guy, son of God. Really cool. And it... He suffers. This is the evil, the real evil, the deep evil of altruism. The idea that somebody should suffer, suffer for somebody else's sins. And that's the symbol of Christianity, and that's what we're fighting against. That woman is, is what we're fighting against. Now, very few people believe it in the sense that she does, because when they get the flu, they're really sick. But then a lot of people get the flu and they feel really sick, and they think it's because... Because they're sinners, because they don't believe deeply enough in Jesus Christ.